Coach, congratulations. Uh, you know, uh, ties almost as good as a win at this point. Yeah, you want to get a result. We needed a result today. You know, with um, UNBC beating Manitoba last night, they went to point up on us. So this was our makeup game. We wanted to, to stay competent. We wanted to stay close. So the tie was huge, and you know, we threw a couple forwards on. We threw everything at it the last five minutes. Um, and yeah, to get that penalty shot with two minutes left and, and pull the draw out of this is, is huge for our team. It's huge. What a wild second half. Yeah, what a wild second half is right. I mean, we didn't play particularly well. Um, we controlled play in the, in the first half. Um, they do have a veteran side. They've got a bunch of experienced players, and I'm sure they talked about it at halftime, about limiting our play and putting pressure where they needed to. And we didn't react as well as we would in the second half. And it'll be a good learning for us, again, that you have to play 90 minutes at this level. You know, we kind of came out of, this, out of the halftime huddle a little flat and didn't have a good 15 minutes, and their goal wasn't a particularly good one. Um, and I kind of thought, we, you know, this was the kind of team that could fold after that. You know, you're down 2-1, you've given up a lead, there's only 15 minutes left, everybody's cold and wet. But they dug down, we, we made some changes to throw some more into the attack. Congratulations on, you know, Danielle getting up and knocking that ball in, Cassie going up and winning a header, kind of out of nowhere to flick the ball in. And, and when you work that hard, good things happen, right? Ball drops on a girl's arms inside the 18, and we have a PK with two minutes left. So what a great result, what good hard work, and another part of our learning curve, and we stay relevant in the playoff race. Pretty cool. And you get a penalty kick, and you got to go to Marissa because she's been so hot of late. She, even beyond that, we worked on some PKs, and, and you know she's very confident with her feet. And but certainly, yes, when she scored th three goals in a row, two against UBCO last weekend, the one in the first half today, you go with a hot hand. You know she's feeling confident already. She's full of ex full of excitement, and full of confidence. I asked her if she wanted it, and she just gave me a nod. So off you go, take the PK, and she buried it. It was a brilliant shot. Nobody's getting that. Calgary tomorrow. What do you think? Uh, I mean, we watched the film with Calgary and, and uh, Lethbridge. They, they did their home and home last weekend. You know, Lethbridge, Calgary beat them one nothing on their park. Lethbridge beat them two one on their park. I expect it to be the same kind of competitive game. Um, I don't think they're as physical as Lethbridge. Lethbridge is a pretty direct physical team. Calgary's a little bit more skilled and tries to play a little bit prettier soccer, from what I can see on the film. So I think we'll be right in it again. It's, it's going to be up to us to rebound and recognize that we talked earlier in the year that at this level you play two hard games in 48 hours. So, you know, I've got seven or eight girls who play 90 minutes and we're going to have to talk about making sure they get turned around and they're ready to go tomorrow. That should be a great one tomorrow.